Right, as usual, storage is an issue. I know it's the same t-shirt, folks. I've just slept in it. Man. It's a quality t-shirt, though. Um, yeah, mate, just reporting in. I ain't played a song yet. I'm going to do a quick one. I haven't decided which one yet. But now nah, I just want to sort of check in, man. I had a really cool day so far. Um, started off with a good meeting. Again, I'm still smoking, but I'm low enough to drink. I'm starting to run out though, so I'm starting to panic a little bit, but um, really good morning man, um, I'm here to make a big recommendation as well for a movie, for anyone, anyone really, but anyone might have heard of a movie about 10 years ago called The Stepfather, about like a man, a dodgy geezer that had a woman married and he said that to be a psycho, piece of shit man, remake, right, 1987 original The Stepfather, it's on YouTube, I shit you not, DVD, maybe Blu-ray quality, man, hour and a half, one of the best underrated horror films of the 80s, man, it's quality shit. It's one of those, you know what I mean, it's almost like a TV movie, but it's fucking brutal, but yeah, I just watched it with a really good mate of mine, who I'm in recovery with, well, I never thought I'd say that, well, I'm, I'm not quite in recovery, I am in recovery, I guess, technically, I'm trying to get better, so I'm in recovery then. Really good mate of mine. Uh, we just sat down and watched it, man. And I thought to myself, like, what do people do during this pandemic shit? Couples, we're not a couple, are we? Just good friends. But obviously she's got um, she's got a fellow and all that, so it's not about that. It's totally platonic, man. But like, when you're in recovery, you can talk about anything. There's no awkwardness because once you get to those meetings, you're just naked anyway, mate. Do you know what I mean? As the day you were born, so to speak. So yeah, we just sat down and watched the fucking. I could watch that film a hundred times. I must have seen it a thousand times. I was addicted to that movie when I was like eight. I just loved it and loved it for years. I bought it on video. My dad rented it on VHS when I was about seven. In fact, I think it was my uncle brought it around because my uncle used to bring movies around now and again. Shit, I want to get some done. So I'll get back to this. But yeah, the fact is, me and my good mate just watched Step Farm together and I enjoyed it as much as I ever have. And she really enjoyed it. And tomorrow we've made a, a movie date, platonic, of course for the stepfather too, so I'm just saying anyone that's bored today and at home and thinking I can feel like watching a fucking quality little thriller, it's well easy to watch, it's an amazing lead performance and it will give you fucking creeps real, and it's funny as shit as well, if you've got the right kind of sense of humour, then get all over the stepfather, 1987, it's on YouTube with Blu-ray quality, I shit you not, now it's time for some fucking music, man. First track I see, it might only last 30 seconds, but fuck, I should have cleared the storage first. And I just said to my good friend, I've smoked too much weed, I'm starting to abuse it. I've acknowledged it, so I'm going to wait for it to wear off, and I'm not going to smoke anymore until I absolutely need to. And with that, I'm going to attempt to play a bit of, a bit of music. First thing that pops into my head, man, we're gonna go with 18 and Life by Skid Row. Really powerful song about a kid that did something pretty damn stupid when he was 18 and he's gonna die in jail. If I can get some volume. Great song, man. <laughs> 